सो अवर नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज फ्रैक्शनल डिस्टिलेशन ऑफ बाइनरी सोल्यूशन फ्रैक्शनल डिस्टिलेशन ऑफ अ बाइनरी सोल्यूशन बाइनरी सोल्यूशन मीन्स इट हैज टू कॉम्पोनेंट्स बाई मीन्स टू सो इट हैज टू कॉम्पोनेंट दैट इज कॉम्पोनेंट ए प्लस बी कॉम्पोनेंट ए एंड बी सोल्यूशन will be formed by the mixing of a and b and further it's a fractional distillation fractional distillation means when you heat something some uh, solution or let us say there is a pure liquid a and its boiling point is suppose its boiling point is 50 degree that is at 50 degree it starts converting into the vapor state from the liquid state so when temperature of 50 degree will be reached this component will start uh, <coughs> vaporizing itself and you can collect this uh, by putting like this apparatus uh, somewhere else when you will boil it this vapor will move from here here and here and here you will cool those vapors and you will uh, collect this uh, pure liquid a again and in case of uh, mixture uh, suppose there are two components that is a component and b component temperature of a is 50 degree boiling point whereas b has a 60 degree of boiling point so obviously when temperature will be 50 degree so from the two components the component a which is having uh, 50 degree boiling point it will start vaporizing off and you will uh, collect the component a here and at 50 degree and when you will collect all the component of a here when there will be no decrease in the volume it means uh, the remaining liquid contains b why because <coughs> b have the boiling point of 60 degree and you are heating this solution at 50 degree so 50 degree at 50 degree this only component a will vapor off and you will collect it in a other apparatus its vapors whereas the remaining liquid that is b will remain here so you can separate two liquids by this kind of method this is called fractional distillation so the component of a binary solution can be separated by fractional distillation in which pressure is kept constant so p is constant here okay so p is constant here the principle underlying the fractional distillation can be understood with the help of temperature composition curve so these are temperature composition curve this is boiling temperature and this is composition composition is written in the form of mole fraction and i have always told you that mole fraction is for mole fraction of a is x a will be equal to n a divided by n a plus and b n a is the number of mole of a component b is the number of moles of b component so composition is represented by mole fraction so there are three types of solutions binary solution the solution with small deviation from ideal t like this solution showing minimum in the boiling point this and third is the i have made uh, on the next page there are solution uh, showing a maxima in the boiling point so what is the deviation from the ideal t i had already told you ideal solution are those solution where delta v mixing and delta h mixing is zero and they obey raoult's law and they also have particular value of delta g and delta s so this figure shows the this first figure shows the when a solution of composition a is heated it will start boiling at temperature t this is the t temperature so when you will boil a solution like this a plus b this solution the solution will start boiling at temperature t the vapor coming out at this temperature will have composition a1 which is richer in component b so there are suppose there are two components that is a and b a b is more volatile than a so more volatile component obviously if you will mix two components the more uh, more volatile component will start vaporizing off earlier or it will uh, vaporize faster than the non volatile component because volatile component will convert in the vapor earlier uh, earlier so as a result the residue when you will uh, heat this solution it will start boiling at a particular temperature that is t and at t the composition a1 which is this a1 composition which is richer in the uh, the component b see there is mole fraction this is 
the middle of the line so here mole fraction x a is equal to 0 0.5 and x b is also equal to 0 0.5 because x a plus x b is always equal to 1 or there are many more components so the concept of mole fraction is coming again and again and I had told this concept to you in the first uh, lecture so uh, and this is the middle of the line so on this side the composition of x b will be larger than x a so say they are saying the same thing the vapor coming out at this temperature will have composition a1 which is richer in component b this component and moreover this is a volatile component as a result the residual liquid at composition a at this composition at this composition the this a this is the a composition as a result the residual liquid at composition a will be richer in component a so at this uh, temperature what what is happening at this temperature solution starts boiling so there are two compositions first is a second is the a1 so uh, at <coughs> this a1 composition compo uh, a1 composition in vapor phase composition of uh, b component will be more whereas at this composition the composition of in liquid or in solution the composition of a1 a, a will be more the liquid will, will boil at slightly higher temperature T1. So uh, uh, after when we will boil it again at this temperature, so this uh, liquid will boil at slightly, uh, slightly higher temperature that is T1 temperature. The vapor coming out at this temperature is again richer in the component B. Why? Because this is this is the composition where uh, mole fraction is some of the uh, mole fraction is uh, will be 1 but at this point it is xb which is larger than the xa so consequently the residual liquid is further enriched in the component a this liquid has to be heated to still high temperature before it starts boiling when this process is repeated many times the boiling point of the solution keeps on rising from t to ta so this is the boiling point of ta which is the boiling point of pure liquid A. Ultimately, a stage is reached when the residual liquid contains only liquid A. So, at a stage is reached, when I earlier told you, in this beaker, when we are heating, 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 the boiling, uh, one liquid will remain in the solution, whereas uh, solution will become only, uh, solution will have only one component, that is a uh, component having higher boiling point, whereas the component having lesser boiling point will vapor off and go to the uh, vapor phase so the vapor formed is condensed and removed separately to give distillate this is the one component and here this component is b as already mentioned in the composition of vapor phase coming out at temperature t is a i had already told you that composition at temperature t is a the distillate obtained after condensing component B has new boiling point T2 and the vapor have the composition given by the point C. So it is clear that the distillate is now richer in component B. Why? Because distillate has more volatile component, composition of more volatile component was more that was B and so that was distillate. This is the distillate. In this way, when the process of condensing the vapor and redistilling the residue liquid is continued, the distillate obtained will contain only component B and the residue liquid will contain pure component A. Thus, it is possible to separate the components of binary liquid mixture by the process of fractional distillation. So, this was the first type of uh, distillation. Second is the solution showing minimum in the boiling point. So, solutions which have lower boiling point than their pure component see this is the a component this is the b component they have higher boiling point as compared to the mixture so the boiling point composition curve for the solution showing large positive deviation from the ideal t has been shown in this figure the liquid curve and the vapor curve meet at the minima it minima that is e at this point the liquid phase and vapor phase have same composition at this point liquid phase and vapor phase will have same composition this has been shown by this uh, line so therefore the liquid mixture corresponding to point e will boil at temperature t the solution corresponding to this point 
will distill without undergoing any change in the composition such a mixture distills over like a pure compound the solution corresponding to point e is a constant boiling mixture which distills at a constant temperature without any change in composition and is called an azeotropic mixture so the solution corresponding to this point e boiling mixture which distills at a constant temperature without any change in the composition and is called an azeotropic mixture i will discuss azeotropic mixture later on also so when a solution at composition a this composition a is distilled it start boiling at temperature t1 this is the corresponding t1 temperature at this composition that is a where x a and x b have definite values so the vapor will be richer in the uh, richer in the constant boiling mixture and the residue liquid will have more of component a on further distillation the vapor composition will shift more towards the point e this point e and the residue liquid will contain more of component a ultimately a mixture having minimum boiling point t will be obtained as a distillate having composition e the residue liquid will contain pure b however it is not not possible to obtain pure b as a distillate on the other hand if a liquid having composition b is distilled the distillate finally firstly obtained will have composition represented by b1 this is the b1 so the vapor phase will be richer in the constant boiling mixture and the residue liquid will contain more of liquid b so on continuous distillation the vapor phase will keep on becoming richer in constant boiling mixture and the residue liquid becomes richer in liquid b ultimately the point e is reached when the constant boiling mixture is obtained as distillate and the residue liquid contains pure component b however so we cannot obtain pure a component in this way and water ethanol system forms a minimum boiling azeotrope at a temperature that is 351.1 kelvin so this is the second type of uh, it was second type of solution showing a minima in the boiling point minima means the pure components that is a and b have more by uh, composition suppose there are two components a and b a have pure a have boiling point 100 degree and b have 150 degree one point uh, boiling point but when we mix a plus b the resultant solution have lesser than both these boiling point that is it may be 90 degree uh, lesser among a uh, between a and b is a so the solution have uh, will will be having less than 100 degree boiling point that is it may have 99 degree or 0 degree so it is the, this point is shown by the point e and these various points represent just the compositions different composition that is b1 b a1 a and this when this temperature will be reached that is when we will start heating the solution or obviously uh, temperature will move from zero to this point t a or t b in between come it will in between the point t will come so it will start before it will the solution will start distilling like this before reaching the boiling point of either pure a or pure b so it will uh, that i was told you uh, it it will behave like a azeotropic mixture the solution corresponding to point e is a constant boiling mixture which distills at a constant temperature without any change in the composition and is called azeotropic mixture and this is the composition so third type of uh, graph is similar like first and second type of graph and it is it, these are the solution showing maxima in the boiling point maxima means the boiling point of pure components that is T A and T B are lesser as compared to their solution as compared to their mixture this D represents the maxima in the